guys, there's a bomb track downtown at the Digicel building. Welcome. If you're new here, here, be sure to click the subscribe button and also click the bell icon so that you'll be notified about videos uploaded from this channel. The topics that we'll be discussing today. Five-year-old O'Neill and Kamal killed 12 arrested, robbery disarmed in bar robbery, bomb threat to the cell downtown, abductor caught and more. The police have imposed a curfew in Whitfield Town Community, Kingston 11, which is in St. Andrew's South Division. The curfew began at 6 p.m. Thursday, July 14 and will remain in effect until 6 p.m. Saturday, July 16. A second man has died following last week's shooting at a house at Marvel Avenue in St. Andrew. Our news team has been informed that 26-year-old Kamar Enriquez died on Wednesday from injuries he received in July 5 attack. The other victim, popular entertainment photographer 26-year-old Dominic Davis, was killed in the incident. It was reported that Mr. Enriquez and Mr. Davis were at a house when two armed men dressed in construction vests entered the property and shot them. The major investigation division is leading the probe. Viewers and subscribers, it has been reported that a bomb threat was sent to Digital Building in downtown Kingston. So guys, there's a bomb threat downtown at the Digital Building. It's crazy, y'all. Empty the building. Bomb threat downtown Digital. So people as only can say the police. So people as only can say the police is there. The fire brigade, the bomb squad is also there. Everybody had to evacuate the building. So this is no joke. The full video will be uploaded on our Instagram page at Chop City TV. The Saint Elizabeth police have charged two men for RAPE and abduction of a teenage girl in Vineyard District. In the parish on Thursday, June 16, charge are 26-year-old Troy and Lewis, otherwise called Joby, and 56-year-old Andrew Miller, otherwise called Manayad, both of Vineyard District. Reports are that sometime after 1 p.m., the teen was chasing cows from in her yard onto the main road when Miller and Lewis and another man approached her in a motor car. Lewis allegedly exited the vehicle and forced her inside the car. The teen was taken to a house where she was assaulted a report was made to the police and an investigation was launched both men were apprehended separately and later charged following interviews lawmen continued their investigation to apprehend the third man involved in the incident picnic can be picnic again all because of these men that are going around in the streets every day I mean, gone were the days when picnic would go up on the roadside, go meet up with them like a friend, and then play them like a hide and seek, bend down and stucky, walk go buy ice cream, and them look a something there. You can't do that no more. Just imagine, said this child is basically in her yard. She de warm, and she just uh, run some cow out her yard for go up on the main road, because you know, cow does a look grass, and she probably don't want them nice up her yard. Maybe her parents animals, and she want them go up on the street or get something for eat or something. I mean for tell me say between our yard to the main road them money a city sickle girl and just take her away so so that means say you're not half a dip on the road I do nothing you're yeah, the woman and them come for you and them I come for the people them girl picnic like say I feel them picnic and I tell the little girl so she for going at the vehicle knowing that two big old hard tone tough old man in at the vehicle away from the little girl the whole tree I know like, on all enough, if you can get a female for yourself, on in her late 20s. Like, come on, how can you look at a teenager and decide, say, I'm me if you have that little girl? Yeah. The penny probably not even have no breast, she not have nothing. And you mean for tell me, say, just by seeing her, you feel like, say, yeah, that is it. Viewers and subscribers, I'm not going to lie to you, no. My last four words because the things of my want to say, I can't even sit on this platform. I can't get to address them the way you all want to address them on this platform. So it's like, say, I barely can put words together to express how I feel. Some of them, you know, is it some of them? And I get to, I can't get a girl, you know, but the responsibility 
where a female come with or a relationship and a whole come with only not up feet only not feel like say only supposed to entitled to nobody even though in a relationship you're not really entitled you know but the respect and you probably have to give your female money and ensure say your female all right somehow you know i just that alone you know, I run from you know you know just run from responsibility and because of that you see because of that you know, ruin them little girls their future you know, just see them and decide all right this is the day i feel them day we are gonna ruin for them future from now we now wait till them get big for them make them own bad choices and mess up for themselves we are gonna do it for them from now and to me brother to me prisoner make for uno uno we make decision for people prison no make for uno uno need to get tie up and put out a road so the whole trial uno what am i run investigation and i charge you know right now that unnecessary because you know i go run on a time i know i come back come to the same exact thing or even worse to our next child so me honestly feel like said them for just tie one up put a note on the mirror road set a date call the residents them and make them angle uno because them the punishment where them are going you know it's just not enough yes on no say it wrong but why on do it regardless is the fact say on no say when them catch you know them just a got to put on her own in our cell lock on over for a couple of years or a couple of months and then on the back on the street again can do the same thing go back again so it's just a easy get away until them impose some real punishment for no for an understand say yeah we're gonna do it and a joke thing i go go on uno will stop until that day oh god man the look of pitney them the big woman them in a matter to you know little boys they will not take with these days you know so at this point we really need something we need something for impose for you know? and me feel like it better the residents them deal with you know i like the trail you know we're basically going at the pitney yard go take her away but just sorry nobody never sue you know? and get for wool and pound you know? and deal with you know? the right way the police are reporting that a high point nine millimeter pistol with a magazine containing three nine millimeter cartridges was handed over to the Savalamar police following an incident at a bar in Darliston, Westmoreland on Thursday. Reports from the Savalmar police are that about 9.30 p.m., a gunman approached another man and pulled a firearm. The other man grabbed the firearm and a tussle ensued during which the firearm fell to the ground the gunman ran from the bar and escaped the police were informed and upon their arrival the firearm was handed over to them investigations are ongoing some 12 persons were taken into custody yesterday by the portmore police in st catherine in connection to the seizure of cases of uncustomed cigarettes the operation was conducted yesterday morning in the communities of waterford gregory park and westchester also, knitted on custom mosquito coils and 10 pounds of ganja were seized. A woman is reporting that her five-year-old son drowned at Grand Palladium Hotel on July 13. She is demanding justice and she is looking for answers. But my question is, who was this child at the hotel with him? He can't go by himself, so who did I watch him in at the pool? To my understanding, this cannot be the hotel's fault. Are you come with your picnic? So you're supposed to ensure so your child good. Parents, may I beg you know, take this as an encouragement to watch your child. It is summer. We know so the time hot everybody I got pool, beach, river, you name it. So may I beg you know, please for watch the babies them. Them can't swim by themselves. So nobody left them but they go up the sun, come back no watch them and when they mess up please no blame nobody because i cannot understand oh this is the hotel fault the people them providing with food water beach everything so you know must come be responsible and watch the child there is no way the hotel can be responsible for this again may i beg you know watch the picnic them like hark nevertheless my condolence goes out to you and your family. This must be sad. Viewers and subscribers, I would love to hear what are your thoughts on all these stories down below in the comment section. Remember, everybody opinion is valid, so you are not afraid to leave your thoughts down there. We have made it to the end of our next video. Thank you guys for watching. Catch you guys next time. I'm out to stay blessed and stay safe.